On Mondays, I inject hand sanitizer, alcohol pads, thick syringe pulling thick testosterone into the needle. I replace the thick needle with a thin one and flick, flick, flick the air out the tip. And I stick the sucker into my solid thigh muscle. Then slowly press the sludge in. I pull out, rub the skin, and let the blood dry. I do not use a band-aid. My body knows there's no point. It doesn't waste time on bleeding anymore. When I was a kid, the needle slid in easy, like a toothpick in a fat marshmallow. My flesh took delight with the promise of secondary sex. Today, the metal makes my muscle twitch, throws up the sharp tip, leaves a stain of oil on my sheets, the fabric left translucent. I know what I'm doing. I was not born this way. In my faith, I was born both blank slate and a million past lives. And when I die, I will be born again beautiful. I recall, I reimagine, I chant, I write poetry. With this queer life in my eternal memory, I can only hope that this will be a butterfly's dream. Flying and fucking and dancing until tomorrow, my voice, a rehearsal of every single moment I have lived and pulled to the surface, every breath stolen back. It has taken me lifetimes to choose, and my lifetimes will be used to keep this queer alive, and when muscle becomes cement, I will jackhammer it in. As long as I choose, I will do whatever it takes to make this body feel whole. Build this shelter for a soul I am slowly finding. <laughs>